Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mr. Myron's Music Class brought to you by the Greater Sudbury Public Library. Today we're going to talk about musical texture. Let's look at a definition of texture, shall we? Texture is a combination of melody, harmony, and rhythm of a given piece. What? Pretty much everything you're hearing in a song makes up its texture. What if a song is just me singing by myself? Threader Jacques, Threader Jacques, Dame Bou, Dame Bou, Sonne les matines, Sonne les matines, Ding Dang Dong, Ding Dang Dong. Well, a single melody like the one you just put us through, I mean, sang for us, is an example of a monophonic texture. Monophonic. Mono means one. So when a melody is being sung by one or more people in unison, it's an example of a monophonic texture. Yeah, but sir, if more than one person is singing the melody at the same time, how can that be monophonic? Mo mono monophonic. That's a good question, Medic. As long as it's one melody being sung or played, it's considered monophonic. Let me show you an example. All right, go ahead and sing that melody you just sang. My guitar and Malik's voice were both playing the same melody. So that's an example of something that's monophonic. Yeah, but sir, what if the whole class were to sing it at once? Still monophonic? Well, there could actually be many different timbres performing this same melody together and it would still be monophonic. As long as there's one melody being played, there could be a million people singing that one melody and it would still be an example of monophonic. One musical idea, one melody. Okay, so I have a question. If many timbres were to sing a melody at the same time, that's called monophonic, what would it be called if I were to play chords with the melody? That's actually called homophonic. So when we take a musical idea or a melody and we add chords underneath, we're actually taking those chords and accompanying the melody and making it a little less one-dimensional. Homophonic textures are actually the most famous kinds of textures right now in pop culture. Uh, think of a person playing chords on a guitar and singing a song over top. That would be an example of a homophonic texture. Oh, sir, what would it be called if more than one melody was being sung at the same time? That's actually a great question, bud. Um, when we have two melodies being sung at the same time, that's an example of a polyphonic texture. Um, a really popular example would be singing in the round. Let's give it a shot, good bud. Go ahead and sing that melody. Frere Jacques, Frere Jacques, Frere Jacques, Dame Jacques, Sonne les matines, Sonne les matines, Sonne les matines, Sonne les matines. Here's a list of a few songs in pop music that have polyphonic textures. Your homework for this week is to listen to them, and in the comments, write down your two favorite ones. That's it for this week's episode of Mr. Myron's Music Class, brought to you by the Greater Sudbury Public Library. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments below and I'll make sure to answer them or create a video on whatever it is you'd like to learn about. As always, stay out of trouble, make good choices. We'll talk soon.